two guys who will never get a Taylor Swift endorsement. Hey, boys and girls, this is the Chat and Cheese podcast live from the Smart Recruiters booth at HR Tech. Yes. I'm your co-host, Joel Black Nazi Cheeseman. That went Too off, much? The, ra- that went Too off much? the rails Sorry. really, Sorry. really fast. Sorry. I am Chad. I love me a little Winston. So wash. And on this week's show, new CEOs all up in your face. Merker, I hardly even know her. <laughs> And Amazon (laughs) is in its prime. Let's do this. Yeah. You're almost in Euro Chad mode here in the Smart Dude, Cruise booth. I, I, I am totally in Euro Chad mode. I love it. I mean, this is the the Chad Cheese slash Smart Recruiters booth. Yeah. Particularly, you got Winston all over the place. You got Chad Cheese. We're up on the banner up top. I mean, coffee it was, mugs for the God's funny. Sakes. The funniest thing. Well, we'll talk about funny things. But okay. Jerry Crispin came over the other day, and he said, "This is the coolest thing I've seen." And he's an old piece like fucker knows. who knows. And he uh, knows. He's seen a few things, yeah. so that is saying something. Yes. Uh, if you, if you've never watched us on YouTube, this might yeah. be the episode to do it. <laughs> the background, the faces, oh, yeah. Yeah. the branding is, is super, Gregor, super he's cool. hooking us up, making sure we look sexy. I love it. Yeah. Gr- yes. Gregorio, Gregorio is on, is, is on the, uh, the love cameras it. loving him. Uh, so we're here at HR tech. Yeah. Any, any takeaways thus far? Any, any stories? I got a funny story. Oh, okay. I got a funny we story. We love funny so stories. Yesterday here in the smart recruiters booth and I saw uh, a bunch of the employees, they were like, they, it was it was pub crawl time. Yep. And a couple of the the girls said, hey, look, this is, the, they had like this orange drink. They're like, this is really good. Go over to Cornerstone. Check it out. You should probably get one yep. of those. There's a long line for this thing. So I'm like, yeah, it's got to be good. So me and a couple of guys are sitting there and we're talking, we're bullshitting. We get about four away from getting one of these things. Yep. It was an April spritz. Oh, I'm like, no. dude, I'm not doing this. I know it's very European, but I just can't. And one of the guys is like, well, they point like to the booth next door. Uh huh. And they're like, they've got beer right over there. I'm like, okay, fuck this. I'm going to go get a beer. Yep. I'll see you guys in a minute. So I walk over. Uh, I see they've got beer. I'm like, hey, I'll, I'll take an IPA. Guy pops it, gives it to me. And the, you know that they scan everybody who comes into the booth. Oh, yeah. Guy looks you know, me. You don't normally wear your badge. So no, I'm surprised I don't. that uh, I don't. it was out. Yeah. I don't. I usually in my back pocket. Everyone anyway, knows you. A- anybody. Anyway, Such a dude big deal. looks me up and down and then just kind of like, <laughs> like not, dismisses not a, me. Not in a sexual way. Dismisses just- me. <laughs> then I start walking out and I have people looking at me like, what the fuck is he doing here? And I'm yep. like, wow, this is great customer service. So then I take a couple of steps and I think I turn around and I was in the eightfold booth. <laughs> Was it, was it not as big as an, a, a Hawaiian island that you didn't know time. that you were in not the eight fold It was a different setup. Oh didn't didn't look like a, a, a UFO. Oh, my God. Dude, we live rent-free oh, in, in eight folds oh, head. Yeah. But it, and it's more and more uh, than it has been. Now, Ver- <laughs> Veritone just partnered with Eightfold. Chad and Cheese sponsor Veritone, our buddies, have, yeah. have, have partnered. So they've at least done something right. Meaning eightfold in the last uh, <laughs> two or three years. Okay, so we'll give them that. We'll have to, we'll have to dig in into we'll, that. We'll one. give them that. Uh, my shout out, just uh, smart recruiters. What an amazing uh, imagery design yes. that they've they've given us here. They've been uh, more than hospitable and generous. Oh yeah, uh, with everything. So Our to chat Lynn, with Rebecca this to morning. Rebecca, oh. yeah, the whole team. The rock and the green converse. I'm gonna see if I can get a pair of those because yeah. you know a ch- pair of Chuck Taylors. Chuck Taylor's from Columbus. I know you knew that. Yeah. Your hometown. Yeah, yeah, Columbus North High School. There's got to be a statue in town or something. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. There you I go. Don't know. Columbus claim to fame. Cummins and Chuck Taylor. Yes. Uh, Brett Favre has Parkinson's. Did you hear about that? That's Definitely heard about that. Yeah. I mean, all the shots that he took. And I mean, again, being in a collision sport like Football. American football. <laughs> American football. American football. Oh, I got a story about you if you're talking about that. Go ahead. But it's but 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 yeah, I mean, and we're gonna see more of this. CT is gonna pop up more. I mean, this is gonna be really hard from an optic standpoint for the NFL moving forward. 
Um, I mean, we're going to look at, you know, do I want my kids to play yeah. in school? I mean, seriously. And they're starting to have those those concussions while their brain's being developed. I know I had them being a defensive back. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be bad for optics for the NFL. Yeah. And sad for him. Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, uh, when it, whenever someone in our age range yeah. gets something, dies, whatever, not to darken yeah. up the mood, but uh, always, always hits home. But I'm going to lighten it up now. OK. Uh, Euro Chad story real quick. OK. Uh, so so everyone out there, you know, Chad is a uh, real estate mogul in Portugal. <laughs> Owns real estate there, and, and he loves Europe. He's he's gone to the I dark have side. One flat for us for us Americans. <laughs> yeah, see, it's a flat now. So we're in we're in line for the elevator, not the lift, Chad. It's the elevator, uh, and yeah. and Chad goes, we're in the queue to I think Matt Alder or somebody, and, was, and somebody goes the queue seriously? <laughs> oh my God, you've you've totally converted. So yeah, yeah Ch Euro Chad is now the default. It's a thing, uh, no matter where it's where Chad thing. is. And uh, the default chat, of course, on this show, 24-7, 365, yes. is awesome, free shit. My cue to give a sh quick shout out to Kiora, wow. who actually stopped by the two founders. They did. Uh, they're doing text recruiting, done easy, and they are sponsoring our shout outs. Uh, so shout out to them. And free shit, obviously. Uh, yes. We just sent out some beer. Uh, Aspen Tech Labs, our friends there, are making that possible. Yes. Uh, two bottles of bourbon. One Chad pick, one from me. Uh, that is our friends at Text Colonel Text slash Bullhorn. Bullhorn. And if it's your birthday, yeah. you might get some <laughs> rum from, from Plum. Plum. I hate that we don't have the sound bites on the live show. Ah. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll put it in for the uh, the <laughs> editing. But uh, some birthdays, we'll get to those at our don't next show. Don't forget t-shirts. You're wearing the t-shirt. T-shirts, my bad. T-shirts. Aaron, Aaron app. Aaron, yep, yep. yep. If you're here at HR it's Tech, sexy. you're seeing some it's red sexy. shoes. Walk in the booth, one of their new uh, new new uh, promotions. Yep. Uh, check that out. But yeah, big love to uh, to Aaron for that. Real quick, events. I gotta I gotta hit the events because we're you love here. Events. HR Tech, amazing, fun, smart recruiters. Thanks so much. Uh, we're going to be at Paradox Client Board. Um, if you haven't seen the AI sessions, go to thesessions.ai. Dot AI. That's right. Uh, we put together a, an 11 episode series uh, that's going to knock your fucking socks off. So if you haven't seen it, go to YouTube. You'll see it there or just go to the sessions.ai. It's killer. We're going to go back there. We're going to we're going to record at least one more season, if mm -hmm. not two. Yep. But it is amazing. Um, little who, teaser. who are some of the interviews that uh, we have on that show? On that Eileen Kowalski from General Motors. General Motors. You might have heard of that yeah. little company. Uh, we had Keith Sonderling, EEOC commissioner at the time. He, he's he's now left. Uh, we also had Jess Rush, um, who is the VP of uh, People. People, yep. yeah, People at Paradox, and then also very good friend of yours and mine, yep. Adam Godson from recruiter to fucking CEO. Love this dude. Some amazing, amazing interviews. So you got to check that out. Then, kids, we're going to New Orleans for HR Gumbo. This is first annual. Mm, They've never done this gumbo. before. They're having Chad Cheese come in. Again, with our friend Keith Sonderling, we're looking at the, the, pro, the, the possibility of having a representative from the OFCCP on stage with yeah, us as well. I saw Dude, that. You know why? Because Chad and Cheese make compliance sexy. Yes. Especially when we're talking about AI. It is sexy and it's necessary. In the big easy. Yeah. Oh, Do not man. confuse HR oh. Gumbo with the HR Etouffee conference, <laughs> by the way, everybody. Uh, and don't make any mistake yeah. at who's at the top of the leaderboard in fantasy oh, football Jesus. this week. Oh. That's right. Our friends at Factory Fix make oh. this make this addiction possible. Let's oh. run down the internationally heavy oh. uh, leaderboard. Number one, we got Dean the Daddy Mac. Dean Mackerel, uh, hailing from Love Australia, him. down under. Number two, and this one makes me want to vomit. <laughs> vomit some haggis. Uh, Adam Gordon uh, oh. from Scotland is in the number two slot, followed oh. by Action Jackson Dahlquist. Yours truly, Joel Cheeseman, is in the four spot. Number five, David Stiffel of Paradox. Uh, number six, last year's champion, Dina Perro. No. Oh. Number seven, Jennifer Terry Tharp. Keith Sonderling, you mentioned him earlier. He's yes. in the eighth spot, followed by you at number nine. Yes. Number 10, Laura Martinelli. 
11, Sean Horton. Don't call him Diddy. And number 12 at the caboose (laughs) is Christy Lisbon. And that is your leaderboard for week three. Fantasy football sponsored by Factory Fix. Yes. And let's get to your favorite topic. All right. New CEOs are in the news this week. First up. Chris Foreman will step down as CEO at AppCast by yeah. year end after launching the company back in 2014 with COO Matt Molinari, who's been at AppCast since 2017, yeah. taking over the top spot. But wait, Chad. Yes. There's more. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There is more. That's not all. In Border has appointed Dan Finnegan, our boy, as CEO <laughs> with the mission to drive growth, leveraging his 30 years in HR tech, including leading Jobvite and Filtered. Chad, what's your take on all the CEO news this week? Uh, So on the Europe show Wednesday, we actually went pretty, pretty deep. Not just the tip. Just the tip. Not just the tip. uh, With um, KKR and uh, the move from Molinari or to Molinari from from Foreman. And so uh, take a listen to that. But I, I, again, Matt Molinari is probably one of the best diplomats in our space. I mean, he, he really is. Um, with KKR and everything that they've taken control, they're going to need a diplomat, mm-hmm. right? Not saying that Chris Foreman could not have done this. I just think this is the perfect time for Chris Foreman to eject. I saw Chris Foreman this week. I've never seen the man happier in his life. <laughs> I don't. I've. I've not. I don't know Chris that well. He's but distilling he, maple syrup like, back in New Hampshire. He was glowing. <laughs> he was glowing. And, he had a and, fresh haircut too. Yeah, I think I mean, it, it looked, it, looked it, fresh. He just looked really good. And not to mention, it was funny. Somebody was like, "Chris is open for all the shows now. He wants to talk to everybody." And I'm like, "I'm sure he does because the last thing that KKR wants yep. anybody to think of is that there's going to be." A quick transition. They want a slow transition because they want that face, that Chris, the founder. They want him around for a while. Yep. Not that Matt is not competent. That dude is uber competent. But they want to make sure from an optic standpoint, everything is legit and nobody questions what the hell is happening in an app cast. Even though they've they've had some layoffs. Or a they, frictionless glide There path. will be yes. some restructuring. There's no question from leader to leader that yep. shit's going to change. Not to mention, again, KKR. They're, they're, re, they're reformatting. Um, on, the, on the Dan side of the house, my God. I mean, this had to be an amazing opportunity for him to get up off the couch. He must be bored <laughs> and or this is just a great, like, it, it, a great, problem that he knows the solution to or at least he thinks he knows the solution yeah. to there's no way this is going to be easy because i don't know that that dan finnegan would take something on that's easy yeah i think he likes a challenge and uh that's why i and again i, I don't know this for sure i definitely have to reach out to dan yep. uh, maybe we can have him on the maybe, show right maybe dan, um, but at the end of the day Dan doesn't just get off the couch for anyone, right? I'm sure he was he was probably a little bit bored, but he was also looking to solve a puzzle uh, that that he thinks an onboarder can 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 solve. He's yeah. not a dumb dude, man. He's a very very <laughs> very smart dude. dude. Uh, so on Foreman, yeah. Uh, if I had his bank account, I think I would look. <laughs> As ha- uh, however, I would be, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be in ago. HR tech. I'd be in Key West <laughs> popping some blue chew. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I'd be doing. And my number is much less than his. I promise. I promise you that. Um, which of these jobs would you rather have? Yeah. Uh, private equity uh, breathing down your neck on a regular basis, nope. asking nope. Uh, to be more efficient and nope. cut costs nope. and dealing with all kinds of shit with Stepstone. And, and you got an ad agency now uh, tied to like... No. God bless no. Matt. And I and I hope that he has a good therapist. Yeah. And he's got good meds because he may need both of the above. Yeah. I think you you frame that perfectly. Uh, and you know Matt better than I do. Um it'll be I feel it's a tough job, dude. I don't I don't envy him. On the on the Finnegan thing, you know, I a little funny story. I met Dan yeah. when he was at Hot Jobs. Yeah. Uh, this was probably 05, 06. Uh-huh. I was doing Cheesehead. And a little known fact about me, Chad, I was the first blogger to ever get a media pass uh, to the Sherm National Show, which was compliments of Jerry Crispin, oh. who, who vouched for me. I love and that, got man. me in. 
And somehow I was able to get Dan Finnegan to interview with me. Nice. Cheesehead uh, at the show. And I remember Jerry told me that Dan came up to him and, and said, is this Cheeseman guy on the Legit. on the level? Yeah. And uh, Jerry vouched for me. So so kudos to him. Dan had a whole team with him, you know, back in the the, the Yahoo days. He yeah. Had a, he had like a he had a, a whole uh, uh, group of people with him. Oh yeah. Uh, so I've known Entourage. Dan for quite a while. I've re- I've re- appreciated his work. He took a really interesting leap to go from hot jobs to job bite. Yes. Which although is well known in our industry today. No one knew shit about no. job bite. No. And, and and people like me were asking, why in the fuck would Dan Finnegan again take this job at Job Bite? Yeah, a problem. Now, if you've listened to the show, you know how that ended. Job bite ended up getting acquired. Uh Dan, I'm sure, is doing very well. Uh also. Yes. He's on a few boards. He's de- you know, he's he's on uh some advisory boards and I think just regular boards. Uh but he ended up going to a company called Filtered. Uh, you would, you would be, uh, you would be okay forgetting that he ever was at filtered yes. uh, so, because yes. there wasn't a lot that went on, uh, and during his tenure, uh, except, uh, layoffs, uh, the, the head count is layoffs. gone, <laughs> head count is gone, uh, about half of what it was. Um, they raised about $10 million in 2022, which I assume was part of, Get a get a real CEO. Get someone on on board that that knows this thing. Uh, but they have wilted for sure. Um, let me see. Filter. This is how they sell themselves. Filtered is an AI infused hiring platform that changes how companies evaluate and hire top talent while empowering qualified candidates. Yeah, I'm falling asleep just reading that. Is that where Dan just was? Yes. No that's, shit. That's I, 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 and again, I had no fucking clue. Yeah. And he's a big name. Yes. He's a big git. Yes. Okay. Yes. There you have it. So, uh, a new start okay. for Dan. Okay. Uh, in Border, founded in 2015 by yeah. a former monster guy Brent Pearson They're I don't know everywhere. if you worked with him uh, no, I know. Uh, down in Australia they basically kind of automate the onboarding process they yeah. put video in and all that shit so they have raised 50 million dollars uh, that is a good opportunity um, organic growth at that company is on par with what it should be uh, I think Dan is going to take that company to the next level and really get people to notice, unlike filtered, where even even we yeah. didn't really notice uh, what was happening. Yeah. So wow. I don't know what's going to happen to Brent, who was the former CEO. I don't know if he's going to be a chairman or or just a figurehead at this point. But yeah, Inboarder is doing great things. We don't hear a lot about them being uh, in Australia, but happy for Dan. Happy for Matt. I hope he's getting paid because mm-hmm. he's going to need a lot of Tylenol dealing with. They're uh, coming. Dealing with the owners. They're coming to the U.S. You don't take a guy like Dan Finnegan nope. in a very small ass market like Australia mm-hmm. and not look at the U.S. Yes. I mean, especially with a guy like Dan, right? No question. Woo. No question. Okay. Can't let's wait, take Dan. A, let's take a quick break. Yep. And uh, we'll talk about Mercor. Okay. Hospitality is the heart of our society. It brings people together to share great food, drinks, and experiences. But successfully managing a restaurant or hotel is no easy feat. That's where Harry comes in. Harry is the frontline employee experience platform that helps you build, manage, and engage great teams. With Harry, managers can easily find and hire top talent, manage timekeeping, and communicate with employees at any time from any place. Candidates and team members can quickly and efficiently apply for jobs, swap shifts, and access important information entirely from their mobile devices. And Harry's robust employee engagement tools make team members feel more connected than ever. With Harry, as an owner or operator, you get a bird's eye view of your business. From turnover cost, labor cost, employee sentiment, compliance risk, and team performance. Run your business better by understanding the power of your people. Because when your team is the heart of your business, Harry is the heartbeat. See how it transforms your business. Chad, speaking of companies you've never heard of, is was Mercor <laughs> on your on your radar it was not it sounded familiar but i think that's because it was so close to mercer yeah it uh, it can be mistaken for a lot of a lot of companies yeah. in our space well mercor is an ai hiring platform and they've raised 30 million dollars in a series a round yeah valley wing at at 250 million big ones 
uh, led by Benchmark with notable investors like Peter Thiel and your boy, Jack Dorsey. The startup touts itself as an AI-powered platform that sources, vets, and pays your next employees. Chad Mercor, what you got? Yeah, anything that Teal's involved in, I mean, I, not a big fan of. Although, it sounds like a great platform because it's AI interviewing. I've seen some some somewhat demos and, and seen some of their, their PR. Uh, it, it can be really cool not to have structured interviews, right? The problem with not having structured interviews is that the AI can treat somebody much differently than the next, right? right? That could prospectively be seen as bias. That's a problem, right? So there, there could be an issue with an organization who doesn't really, they're not, they're not steeped in HR. They're steeped in, you know, bro culture and Silicon Valley and that kind of money. Yep. Um, I mean, it's great they get that money, but you have to understand the regulations. You have to understand the process methodology, have to understand it all to be able to ensure that you can deliver something that doesn't get your clients in hot water from a governmental enforcement standpoint, right? Yep. So I, from my standpoint, $30 million is because you have these big names behind it, right? That's And that's the reason. None of this sounds like it's actually applicable to our space, which yep. is unfortunate. I mean, can you tweak it to make it where it is more structured? Yes, but then you just become like everybody else. And the way that they sold this, I guarantee you was Peter Thiel, an AI, right? Unstructured AI. To me, that's the downfall of this organization, unfortunately. I mean, that's that's a lot of money, $30 million. Peter Thiel, don't listen to Chad. Uh, we love you. you. We want you on the show. It'd be a great interview. If we could land Peter Thiel. I would love Thiel, to have Peter Thiel uh, on the show. That would be great. Jack Dorsey, maybe not. And he's a little bit too soft-spoken, a little too he zen. He would say nothing. We'd have to have some incense. He would say nothing. Yeah, he would say nothing, but say it very softly and in a way that makes him sound more intelligent yeah. uh, than us. We have not he had – <laughs> there was a time where all these companies were out of San Francisco. Yeah. The, the names, the investors, the companies, the startups, the kids, the Y Combinators, like – that's a day I kind of miss. I kind of yeah. they're, they're they're all from all over the place now. It's good to have a good old San Francisco based, old school Peter Thiel, Jack Dorsey, all the names, all the names that you know and love, starting a business uh, in our space. This to me looks like it's all about global workforce. Uh, it's one application. We'll throw your shit into a bunch of like tech companies, resume databases, which appeals to the global audience of techies who, by the way, are getting uh, AI'd out of business in a lot of ways. So they are going to flood to this site, uh, which I assume they're marketing it to the right people and applying to many, many companies that have signed up for this job. So they're, they're playing it as a custom, a concierge experience, apply once and you apply to all these tech companies. Yeah. What a, what a sales, what a sales pitch to a global audience that is looking for that American money, <laughs> that Silicon Valley cash, uh, to flock to this site in a big way. The numbers are pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, last two years, 840% headcount increase. Uh, the money's there. They're, they're the head startup. There. They went from two to what? I mean, 150. I mean, <laughs> uh, that, that wasn't data that crossed my desk, Chad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I mean, I'm gonna, they, I'm gonna have to ask Grok what, uh, when they what's use going percentages, on there. That's usual bullshit. Either way, uh, it's Silicon Valley. It's big names. It's big money. Yeah. Uh, it's it's fun for podcasters it to is. talk about. No, it is. So uh, have another Corona it's and uh, watch Mercor either <laughs> yeah either die a blazing death or uh, become the next big thing. Could be. We'll talk about it either way. Let's take a quick break. Get another beer yes. maybe and uh, talk about your favorite Amazon. Are you looking to boost your job ass performance? And are you looking to empower your recruiters to connect with your candidates at a much deeper level? Well, video is the best way. 
collecting authentic video content from your employees, talking about why they love working for your company and why they've been there for X amount of years, absolutely skyrocket your metrics, such as your application rates, improving your SEO, driving more traffic to your career site, and even attracting better candidates that are sick and tired of the good old job ad jargon that they see out there in the world. JobPixel is trusted by some of the top companies in the world, such as Cognizant, US Cellular, Boston Medical Center, Arkansas Children's Hospital, and many more. Reach out to our team today to get a custom business case showing you how to improve your metrics at a level you've never seen before. We can't wait to show you what video can do. Thanks. Chad, I think I think you might you're trying turn to, you're on trying Amazon. To bring, you're trying to bring me out of my Euro Chad zone. You're bringing I don't Amazon. Know. You might, you might be into this. You Jesus. might be into this. Isn't peeing in trash okay. cans? Go ahead. This isn't. <laughs> That's a, you know, all okay. right, here we go. Amazon recently announced that hourly members of its frontline team will receive a pay raise that will increase their average base wage to more than $22 per hour yeah. and their average total compensation to more than $29 per hour. The company will spend more than $2.2 billion on the pay hikes. As part of the pay raise, Amazon will also, also, Chad, there's more to the story. They'll give you a Prime, Amazon Prime account, to all those hourly employees, in case you're wondering, ah. that Amazon Prime account totals $139 per year in benefits. Chad, did you and Amazon just become best friends? No. Although, <laughs> although I, I I love the whole giving your product to the to to the individuals who are working for you. I mean that I mean that just becomes more endearing, right? I mean you become a part of it's like, yes, I've got this. I get to watch my Amazon Prime. I get to I, I get my stuff faster. I mean, you become more of the ecosystem. That makes sense. I love that. Every company every company should do that, right? If I'm working for Chewy, I should get free do you know, at least one free delivery yep. a month, right? For my dogs or my cats or what have you. Anyway. I think that's incredibly smart. That should be a layup for companies. That is too <laughs> fucking is, easy. Yeah. But when it comes down to pay, $22 an hour, what's happening at Amazon is that they're having huge attrition issues. We've seen that. Uh, there was a, a, a letter that was leaked that they were losing uh, $8 billion to the bottom line just in attrition. So they're looking, not to mention they're also burning out all the way through, burning through the workforce in some of those those locations where they're at they've got to do something right twenty two dollars might not be enough right uh so yeah I, I think this is something that they you can't just continue to pay people more to do a shitty job mm -hmm. you've got to change the job and and i think they will do that through automation andy jassy a lot of those things but also you have to think of the corporate kind of like mindset where Jassy's like, hey, look, where there's no more, there's no more remote work, right? I mean, so, I mean, there, there's contrary thought happening here on whether they really give a shit about the employees or they don't. Yep. And at the end of the day, if it boils down to giving away Amazon Prime, like you said, it's a layup. To me, it's it's more optics than it is anything else, unfortunately. So I have a story about my kid. Oh, uh, Cole. Uh, he's works. not he's not pissing in a garbage can, is he? Not on my watch. OK, good. But good. Uh, you know, hopefully not he, on Amazon's he, watch. All my either. kids are doing a lot of shit. I don't <laughs> see. I'm sure um, he works at a fast food restaurant called Culver's uh, oh, if you're yeah. in the Midwest. You've probably eaten there or at least know the name. Yeah. And uh, they give him a 50 percent off uh, meal to deal. Yeah. yeah, totally easy. And uh, they were threatening recently to take it away at his location because of cost cutting measures, et cetera. The uproar, the uproar. You can't from, take something yeah, away. Yeah, I mean, it's, you can't take something away. And, and in this case, you're just sending everyone to Taco Bell or Burger King or wherever. So you're basically helping your Dumb. your competition Dumb. in lieu of screwing your your employees. Are. So I do agree. Although this is a layup, it's not a big expense for Amazon. It's not $139 for Amazon. For no. this, it's probably pennies to do this. Like it's a layup, and it means a lot to the employer, cents employees. Maybe. So I, I do I do like that move. It's very interesting that this news came out right after the whole Andy Jassy, we're, kill, we're cutting all our uh, engineering staff. 
we don't need engineers anymore. Uh, so a little good news for them after all the engineers uh, were pissed off. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, they, they, they upped minimum wage in 2018 from, by the way, Chad, minimum wage is still 725 on Fuck a federal me. level. Well, Jesus. By the way, we're not talking about Fuck. that in debates or anywhere on no. the, uh, the, the, the stump speeches. Which is a, a disgrace, frankly. Uh, they went to 15 in 2018. Now they're 22. Wow. It's hard to hate on that. It's hard to like be mad at that. Enjoy the do enjoy it. the pay increase, folks, because the robots are coming to replace your ass, just like the engineers. But for now, at least, this is a good. This is a good little. Like if you're in small town America, 22 bucks is a pretty good deal. If there's a Amazon warehouse in small town America. Yeah. But again, they've burnt through the working population there. So what they're trying to do is yank them back instead of yeah. better, instead of better working conditions. They're like, instead of 15, we'll pay you 22. What do you say? What do well, you say? Like you, they've ran out of workers. Yes. So they got to boomerang people back yes. or get new people. They're like, eh, but they're work, only doing, I'm it doing with Target, money. not you guys. Yes. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of it's, it's not at the goodness of their heart no. that they're doing this. It's out of no. necessity. Yeah. Uh, Don't and, be fooled. and speaking of out of necessity, Chad, yes. are you ready for your dad joke of the week? Yeah. Yeah, sure. It's not related to anything we talked about because we're on the road <laughs> and we're not as prepared, uh, as we typically are. But this is one that my seven year old Jeremy told me recently. Oh. And I, I thought it was pretty good. I bet Why good. should you always knock on the fridge door before opening it? Why know. should you knock on I, the fridge I, door I no before clue. opening it? I have no clue. Because you might catch the salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> Jer- we are live. Jeremy needs to tell more <laughs> dad we, jokes. We are live <laughs> from the Smart Recruiters booth at HR Tech. We will back be back to our regularly scheduled locations next week. Chad, that is another one in the can. We, we out. out. Thank you for listening to what's it called? The podcast, the chat, the cheese, brilliant. They talk about recruiting, they talk about technology, but most of all, they talk about nothing. Just a lot of shout outs of people you don't even know, and yet you're listening. It's incredible. And not one word about cheese, not one cheddar, blue, nacho, pepper jack, Swiss. There's so many cheeses and not one word. So weird. Anywho, be sure to subscribe today on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. That way, you won't miss an episode. And while you're at it, visit www.chatcheese.com. Just don't expect to find any recipes for grilled cheese. It's so weird. We out!